welcome back to my channel today I have my very first update for the Golden Girls project pan it is in collab with the fantastic ladies over on Facebook um, Elise is actually the creator of this project and so it started last month September 14th and it ends on May 9th of 2019 so it's a pretty decently timed um, project which I'm really excited about I love the Golden Girls so I jumped at the opportunity to join um, but yeah so the minimum was picking seven products and there was a bunch of different categories to choose from um, so yeah I went with seven because I do I'm a little overwhelmed with projects right now but I needed to do this one so um, first I went ahead and picked Golden Girl and I chose this julep um, it's like a glitter so I started at about here and now I'm about here. I didn't mark it the first time because I didn't really want to but I think I will now. Um, so I used a bit of it and I like it though because it settles pretty nicely. Um, it might not seem like it um, on camera but like in person I can... I know exactly where I am so I've been enjoying that next up for Rose I chose this creme brulee eyeshadow from makeup geek I've definitely expanded the pan on that and my goal is to finish this as well as the nail polish um, for Blanche something with sexy packaging I chose this Nicki Minaj perfume I think I started at about here and now I'm about here um, I actually really really enjoy this perfume it smells really good my boyfriend's mom got it for me I think was it this past Christmas I think this past Christmas so I've had it for almost a year now um, my goal is gonna be to finish that as well I really enjoy it um, so and I think this is like perfect to represent Blanche <laughs> so next for Dorothy I chose Sparrow Cosmetics Lonely Hearts Cup blush because you know poor Dorothy <laughs> her love life was not the best so as you can see it has like different little colors in it it doesn't look like I've worn away the pattern when I rub it you can tell but when I use a brush the pattern stays this way I'm actually wearing that today I love this blush it is one of my two favorite blushes um so this is really beautiful really really enjoy it next i kind of um did a, a boo boo because <laughs> i pre-filmed my intro because i just had the time and i was just so excited i just wanted to film my video and so the original product i had chosen for sophia was this smashbox lippy and it is in i think sidecar and so it's empty it was actually pretty empty um when i added it in and i didn't realize it um i love the color first of all i love the wand i loved the formula i loved everything about it but um so after like the second time i think i don't even know if you're gonna be able to tell after the second time or so, um, I pulled out the stopper because I was like, oh, I'm not getting that much product out. So I pulled out the stopper, and after I pulled out the stopper, I think I got one, two applications maybe. It just kind of dried out. Um, I got it in a Sephora Play, and I haven't been to subscribe to that in a year, maybe two. So I've had it for, for quite a while. Um, I'm a little upset that it dried out, but I mean, I've had it for a bit. So I would definitely, definitely repurchase this in this color as well as explore other colors. Um, yeah, I really, really like this. I'm just a little upset it dried out. <laughs> Cause towards the end too, it didn't feel very comfortable on my lips. So I was kind of just trying to power through it, but I love the color. I, I found it to be very unique in my collection and just overall I really enjoyed it so what I did is I replaced it with this derma blend um, like travel size deluxe size sample it was full so I didn't mark it but I marked it just now and I'm right about there you can see it's probably not very even but I'm right about there um, I think this should be gone by the next update because I've been using it I think maybe for about a month or so and you know I'm already there so it wasn't completely full of course to begin with but it was brand new um, when I introduce it the sticker was still on there so yeah we'll see maybe by next time if not I'll be very close next um, I think this one is for, yeah, Miami theme. So I chose the Alamar Cosmetics um, Reina del Caribe eyeshadow palette. I just instantly knew this needed to be in this project. So as you can see, like, 
they all look a little used especially you could tell with the shimmers the mattes you can't really tell so much but so Elise actually commented and suggest suggested that I try and hit pan on all of the colors because in my last um, video if you saw it I wasn't sure which um, shadow I wanted to focus on and I actually thought that was an amazing idea to just try and hit pan on all of them so that's what I'm gonna be doing um, I really really enjoy this palette it is beautiful in every sense of the word the colors are gorgeous um, the pigmentation the blendability all the looks that you can create with this it's gorgeous i absolutely love this palette and i can't wait for volume two they haven't shown sneak peeks or anything like that yet but i if it's anything like this i know i'll be in love with that one too i think it's an amazing palette um anyways this is not a review video for this so i'm just gonna go on and move on so next i actually have a really really exciting progress this was for cheesecake so it's something that smelled good or was in um, something in sweet packaging so this smells really good if you have this palette you know what I'm talking about um, so I was focusing on hula and hula light I counted it as one product because I usually mix them and I hit pan in both of them so I'm super super excited I hit pan on hula first and I recently hit pan on hula light um, there was already a considerable dip, which is why I put it in here, because I knew I could hit pan relatively soon. I do enjoy both of these. I think, you know, they're cult favorites for a reason. At first, I didn't like them, and I couldn't understand what the hype was about. They're still not my favorite, but I do enjoy them. Um, I'm wearing them today on top of another bronzer that I'm panning, which is why I'm taking it out of the project. I, I couldn't decide what to do. I wanted to continue working on them, but I'm already panning two other bronzers, and I really want to focus on those um before the end of the year so i decided this can be a goal for next year so i'll go ahead and try and completely finish those up next year which i'm really excited about so the product that i'm adding in to replace that is going to be um back in saint olaf which is supposed to be for a, a gimmicky product so at first i didn't really understand what that meant because i was like what i don't I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't get it. But um, I was actually sent these Flower Beauty Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir like uh, serum slash drops. It's a perfecting oil, it says. Um, but it can be used like as a serum, as a makeup primer, um, to mix in your foundation, a bunch of different stuff. But I feel like okay it's purple with glitter in it <laughs> so obviously when I saw that I could apply for this I was like I want to try it because I'm a sucker for packaging <laughs> um but yeah I don't know I don't know how I feel about these yet I've only used them about three four times um as a primer and that was still kind of when it was hot but now my skin is like freaking out it's like a lot of dry spots here and like on my forehead so I think what I'm gonna do is maybe put this as my base and then maybe like a pore filling on top or I don't know I'm gonna find a way to use these and make it work for me because my skin is freaking out uh, but anyways this is for my gimmicky product um I mean so far I, ha I don't think I've had a negative reaction to them I thought they were breaking me out but I think it was actually something else um, so yeah, this is, will be my new 7th product. I'm going to keep it at 7 for now and just do rolling style because I have a lot of projects going on, but I really want to get through all of these categories. Um, so as soon as I finish something, I'm going to go ahead and just replace it with a different category. Or if I don't want to let go of that category yet, or depending on the product, then we'll see what it will go into if that makes any sense <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for watching i hope you're making great progress too if you want to join this project please feel free to we we are just a month in and it ends in may so you have more than enough time to go ahead and pick all your categories and everything like that i'll leave all the details down below in the description box and i'll go ahead and leave the categories listed for you as well and i'll catch you in my next video bye thank you so much for watching